Mm. That looks oh. like a Venus flytrap yeah. anemone. It does look That's like cool. One. Mm. It oh. must be on the stalk of a dead coral, I imagine. So is that uh, Nidarian, perhaps? Oh, and there's a. Oh, there's is that a crinoid behind it? There could be a crinoid behind it. Yeah. yeah it looks, looks like, like that it. One little stalk of a dead coral is making a big a habitat for several types of organisms. Isn't that interesting how they just flock to make habitat? <laughs> Other yeah. organisms flock to anything that has found that they a can home. attach to. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, the sediment trails, um, Scott France pointed out that seeing so many of those, and that means there's a fair number of these heart urchins, it also means that there's a lot of food to food eat in these sediments. So. Yep. There's a brittle star at the base also, and certainly one crawling up nearby, but there's a small brittle star at the base. <laughs> So a lot of food that these um, brittle stars that are crawling around are eating are is material that is um, that produced at the surface of the ocean and then slowly sinks down. So like Scott mentioned on the chat, and the fact that there's a number of heart urchins um, burrowing partly through um, the soft sediment here means that there's quite a bit of input from the upper water column into this particular area. The thing that you guys thought was a crinoid, is that possibly a coral, possibly a carnivorous sponge? Behind this uh, yeah, Nidarian? Yeah, it seems to actually be part of the, the curve, seems to be creating the stalk. Can't really tell. Uh, it, it does look like there might be a sponge to the to bit. the left of the stalk that the um, that the anemone is attached to. Aravina bridge. Partially hidden Go right now. Bridge. Oh, I see yeah. it at the very base. It's having a lot of trouble moving in the direction that you want uh, because the current's coming from that direction, like pushing against it. Yeah, so um, I'm gonna let it continue to go on this position move, but then maybe I can adjust my heading to starboard to kind of well, actually, do you happy more with this? into it, so we're not moving directly in a lateral fashion. Copy that bridge. Uh, just let us know when you're done with that move, and then we'll uh, shift the rotation tell? of the ship, and then uh, we'll move forward from there. Okay, sounds good. All right, video, come on. 